Oh. Uh oh. I hope that teaches you a lesson, young man. It sure does, Dad. I'm never going to do that with those in there for that long ever again. Good boy, son. Good boy. <laughs> Is that it? Yep, you can go. Oh, you're not going to lecture me some more? Nah, going to relax for a while. Gee... Hmm. Hmm. Oral, how would you like to go on a father and son outing together? Father and son? And how? Good. It's about time I taught you how to hunt. Hunt? Yep. Man has been able to artificially replicate many things that God originally invented. But there's one thing we'll never be quite able to copy, even with all our scientific beakers and advanced laboratory rats. What, Pops? Playing God. God's greatest achievement. Yes, Oral, I think it's time for you to experience the wonder and majesty of shooting a gun. Well, I don't mind going along and, and maybe just watching. Nonsense! Next week is the beginning of the hunting season at the Moralton Nature Reserve. Buddy, we are gonna have a real adventure! But I'm not sure I can kill an animal, Dad. Sure you can. It's easy. As long as you got one of these babies. Wow! <laughs> I never noticed all this before. Yeah, they sort of blend into the woodwork. Follow me, kid. Oral, as everyone knows, nature is man's worst enemy. That's why we had to civilize ourselves and get as far away from her as possible. Unfortunately, animals are still at her vicious mercy. So, with one of these honeys, we're mercifully letting animals take what we like to call nature shortcut and kill them fast so they won't have to live in fear. Oh, <laughs> what have we here? It looks like a pistol. It's not just a pistol, my young man. It's a lucky pistol, and your birthright. Why, old Gunny here used to be my father's, and then mine. For years, it's been a grand Puppington tradition that the head of the household would hand off old Gunny to his firstborn son. Eh, here, why don't you try this one instead? I'm all packed, Dad. Ah, no need, kiddo. I've got everything covered. All you have to bring is your trigger finger, and the trigger, and the gun. Oh, well, I just have this little sack. Little? <laughs> just how many dresses are you planning to wear out there? Huh? We're men, Oral, and men only bring what they need. Okay, don't need this, or this, or definitely this. But... Now what's this? Oh, that's my favorite lucky shirt. Favorite? Yeah. Of all my lucky shirts, this one's the closest to my heart. It's the one I was wearing when I realized that God doesn't love just me, but my whole family as much as me. All right, just try to keep it out of the way. Hey, Dad. We return to another wonderfully inspirational repeat of the Link McMissin show. Any rational mind would know that God planted dinosaur bones in the earth in order to grow dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that'll do it. Ah. ah, this is the life, kid. Out in the fresh air, no one telling you what to do or how her day was? Away from the hustle and bustle of nagging? Yeah. <sighs> Let's hunt! Maybe I'll even let you use my lucky rifle. Oh, come on. 
Son of a... Why did you pull me away from her, Dad? Never fraternize with the enemy. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, for the love of God, Pearl, get that poor, wretched creature in your sights and put it out of its misery. Gosh, she looks pretty happy to me. Hap! Happy? Oral, that thing is eating grass. Everyone knows that grass is nature's carpeting. You're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to judge your neighbors by how neat it looks outside their homes. But... It's so peaceful. Get out of the way! Yeah! Got her! <laughs> I win, and you lose. <laughs> hey, they just keep on coming. What are you doing? Why, I'm going to shoot that rabbit, of course. Dad, uh, that's not a rabbit. It's someone's hunting dog. Oral, hunting dogs are just... Nature's rabbits. Hey! Hey! Echo. That's my dog. Uh, let's look for other rabbits this way really fast. Dad, I'm hungry. This is all we got, son. What I killed, and you didn't. Do you really want some of what you didn't kill? I don't know if that's fair. But if you're really hungry... Come on, come on, come on. You didn't bring any other food? Oral, we're absolutely surrounded by food that walks right up to us begging to be eaten. Why would I lug around some lazy, legless food? Okay. Well, I guess I'd better try to kill something. Good soy, bun. Good soy. Watch out, animals. Here we come. Uh, on second thought, maybe we should call it a day. I thought so. Well, I think you might be... ...too drunk. Let me tell you something, oral, drunk, is nature. I'm not really comfortable hunting with you right now. You're not comfortable hunting with me? <laughs> Have you ever tried hunting with you? I gotta tell you, Oral. Your cup is always half empty. Now look at me. You should be more like your old man and look on the blight side of life. Blight? I didn't say bright. I said blight. My life is sunny and blight. Bright means the opposite. It means sudden withering death. And that's... No. Uh, Oh, who am I kidding? My life is full of bright. You mean blight? Oh, God. What's the matter? I hate myself. Why do you quit working on me? She always fools me, Oral. I'll make things better, dear. Drink me. Put me inside you. I'm great. And she chokes me just like every other whore out there. They're all worthless, kid. Every woman. Don't let them get you. All of them want to get you. They just grab you and pull you into them. And you're forced to stay in and pull out and stay in and pull out. And then they got you. And they grip you finally right where it counts. And then they start squeezing things out. Things that are like weights around your head. You sit there for the rest of your 